All right, in this example, we have y equals 1 half x minus 4, and we're supposed to graph this equation. So we're actually going to have to plot this on our paper. Let's use our calculator so we get more practice. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is type in the equation. And it's a good idea anytime you have fractions to get into the habit of using parentheses around the fraction. So for instance, for the 1 half, you see I have this open parenthesis button right here above the 8. If I hit open parenthesis and then 1 divided by 2 and then close the parenthesis, now the calculator recognizes that as the fraction 1 half. And then I need to type the variable x and then minus 4. Now again, to graph this on our screen, we're going to do a zoom 6, which will be a nice standard window. And then to be able to plot it nicely on our paper, we're going to need a few points. Now if you'll remember, our equation was 1 half x minus 4. So what we really need to do is when we need to be smart about the x values that we choose. Because we're going to be multiplying these x values by 1 half, let's choose things that we can easily take half of. So how about if, let's go ahead and hit trace to begin with, and our first point that comes up is the point 0, negative 4. Now let's think of an x value that, would, that we could take half of very easily. Like how about negative 2? If I type negative 2 in for x and hit enter, it will go to the point negative 2, negative 5. Now we want to plot that on our paper. And now let's find one more so we can make sure that we're nice and in a line. Let's type an x value of 2 because we can take half of that easily also. So that would put us at the point 2, comma, negative 3. Now back on our paper, let me switch back over to here. We're going to plot each one of those um, points. Our first point was the 0, negative 4, which we would put right here. And our second one we found was the negative 2, negative 5, which was right there. And the third one was 2, negative 3, which is right there. And now we can draw that out nice on our paper.